Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where I am going to be trying out a full face pretty much of new things, new like drugstore affordable things from Ulta while I'll be answering some of the questions that you had over at Instagram. Uh, so yeah, I'm starting off with no makeup on my face and we're hopefully going to end up with something really colorful. And if you haven't been here before, this is your first video here. Hello, my name is Angie. I am a big lover of colorful makeup. I'm a big lover of makeup and beauty all together. And if you want to see more videos like that on timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I do upload quite a lot of videos every week. <laughs> And I am also surrounded by all of my pets at this point. So if you hear something, I'm taking my ring off because I'm going to do some primer. That is them. They live here. I am actually going to be using this Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. Oh my god. Moving the lights. I have been using this before and I have said that I think that this one works exactly like the other Grip Primer by e.l.f. And pretty much exactly like the Grip Primer from Milk. This just has some nice cinnamide in it and I mean... That's nice. I am going to be using a glowy foundation today and I know from experience that the best way for me to keep the glowy foundations on my skin throughout the day is a gripping primer. So I'm going to do that. But of course, until I get, I always try foundations out for a longer period of time, usually a month. And then I come back and let you know my like final thoughts. I will be using it with other primers, without primers, all of that she bang but i am gonna be wearing this look throughout the day so i kind of want to make sure that it sticks like sticks around oh my god i just looked in at um some of the questions that you have had those are really juicy questions so i am gonna be using the juvia's place eye magic natural radiance foundation uh when i bought this i bought this at ulta there was no really shade descriptions so i bought the same shade as i am in the full coverage foundation which is cebu shake well with cap facing down peel off Peel off what? What am I peeling off? What am I peeling off? What am I doing? <laughs> Wait, because there's like instructions on here. Is, is, is it open? I, I don't understand. Let's see. Okay, let's see if this is a good shade for me. Yeah, I do think that this is a good shade for me because Cebu is the perfect shade for me in the um, full coverage foundation. So perfect of a match for me that I actually use that one as like a spot concealer when needed um I think that why does it smell like candy I don't know if I needed that did I need that I don't know if I needed that I will say my arms are darker than my face right now because I scrubbed my face yesterday so actually I could probably have gone a shade darker but we'll bronze a little bit okay the first the first question i got listen i love that you're not holding back did i get a nose job i get a lot of questions about that i don't really know why because this is typically not the nose because i have a like it goes out a lot and i have like this ridge here this isn't according to me i might be mistaken since i get asked this so much i don't see people getting this nose why does it smell so much it smells like artificial tutti frutti candy this isn't the nose that i see people getting when they get a nose job so it does confuse me a little bit when people ask me if i got a nose job because i'm like why would anyone pick this in nose but i think it's because it's thin here wait let me just answer this quickly no i did not take a nose job i am very open and honest on my channel about the procedures that i have done i've had a breast augmentation and a breast lift and i have botox although right now i haven't had it for a bit so my <laughs> forehead is moving quite a lot and i also have a little fillers in my smile lines um because with age everything just travels forward that is what i have done i have not done a um nose job and to be fair, I can see why, because it's thin here, but I think that when you see it from the side, you kind of understand that it probably would be leaning down a little bit and not have like this here if it was like done professionally. But no, I have not had a nose job and I'm not looking to have one either. I don't hate my nose. Um, I will say I pretty much look like my mom. <laughs> my features are very much like my mom, except my nose, which is more like my father's side of the family. And my father passed away, and this is pretty much what I have left of him, if I'm gonna be 100% honest. So 
I don't see myself getting rid of that. That's like, that's, that's the inheritance I got. <laughs> and I'm gonna enjoy it. The shade match is really nice. I'm not sure about this scent. It is a little weird. It is a little, little lighter than my body, but I will say that this is a good shade for me when I don't have a self tanner because it really did fit my skin tone uh, on my face that didn't have any self tanner. So maybe if I love this foundation, I'd get it in another shade, but it's a radium foundation, so we'll see. I do have combo skin so i do tend to get a little bit oily throughout the day that's why i wanted to have a gripping primer and i'm 38 i'm about to turn 39 in like two weeks it's very soon so i do have a lot of fine lines where foundations that doesn't settle down they they tend to settle in my fine lines since then i'm gonna be using this makeup revolution concealer again this isn't the first impression but i i do like it but i don't love it uh it does crease on me a little bit so i'm gonna use as little as possible uh, and still try and cover. So yeah, it's it's nice. If you're balling on a budget, it's a nice concealer. I don't like this more than I like my, uh, what is it called, that Maybelline concealer I love so much. I'll pop up a picture here. And also that Bear With Me concealer from uh, NYX. I also love that concealer more, like from the drugstore than this one. But if this one is what's available to you and you see this one, it's not bad, it's just not my favorite. I did get a question asking, have you ever considered making videos on gaming playing games, talking about your faves. Not really. I already monetized one of my two hobbies. Uh, well, I have three hobbies. I love reading, I love playing video games, and I love makeup. I kind of want to keep video games for myself. I saw I got a question about Dragonflight. Where is it? How are you enjoying Dragonflight? Are you doing more questing or dungeons raids? Well, I haven't been able to play as much as I have wanted, because I will say that my days have been filled with a lot of administrative work, a lot of tax things, and a lot of meetings. I've been in a lot of meetings, but I have played a little bit. I am level 65. I didn't even ding like 70 yet. Is it 70 that's max now? This is, this is what I know, but I play it and I do enjoy it. And I really enjoy how the stones are looking. Uh, and I really like this new feature of like flying with the dragon. I think that's a really, really smart way of incorporating a more way to be mobile in the game without giving everyone flying to begin with. I did really like the whistle system. Was that Legion? I like that one as well. I thought that was a really smart way of just making people not be totally grounded with ground mounts. So I'm enjoying it. I haven't been into any dungeons yet. My friend said that she will bring me to some dungeons, but she's in Sweden, I'm in the US, so we haven't really had time to figure that out together yet, but I'm sure that we will. I am going to be using this one. This isn't like affordable, but I am in the process of reviewing it. It is the uh, Sculpt Tape by Tarte. It is available now at Ulta though. I will link it down below, but I will be using this one today just to make this a little darker uh, since the foundation was just a tad too light. There's a lot of questions about like being a content creator and like what advice I would give to content creators and like starting out and smaller creators and stuff like that. Honestly, if you haven't started, like you're not going to learn anything if you don't start. This is a learn as you go, learning by doing. If you never start, you're never going to figure it out. This is not one of those that you can read until you're a like you have to start, your first videos are gonna suck. You just kind of have to deal with that. And if you are not okay with not being perfect at the get go, I don't know what to tell you. I don't think that this is gonna be for you. You really just have to start. If you're worried about what people are gonna say or what people are gonna think, maybe this isn't for you because even if you grow, more people are gonna judge you. And the bigger you get, the more rude people get because. People think of you less and less as a human being the bigger you get and they really just they talk about you in third person and they literally think that they can tell you whatever's on their mind. There, there are no limits to what people can tell you when you grow online. So if you don't like that, this might not be for you, but I will say I am enjoying it a lot. Is this working out with this foundation? I'm not 100% sure, but the best tip for a smaller creator is... I think everyone, bigger creators as well, could really benefit from being a little bit more critical towards yourself. Don't compare yourself to others. 
but sometimes it is nice to see what is working out for others. Why is this video on this palette doing so well for this person, but not for me? Is it the thumbnail? Is it the video itself? Is it the lighting? Is it me? Is it too long? Am I rambling too much in the beginning? I used to be the person that rambled a lot in the beginnings and I will say, this is not working with this foundation now. I'm gonna have to switch this up. This is lifting this foundation. It's probably because this foundation is, yeah, it's, it's giving like gaping holes. So I'm gonna have to switch to a powder foundation, but a powder <laughs> bronzer, which is fine. But yeah, this is not working out with this foundation at all. And I have not had any problems with this before, but with this foundation, that's a no-go. Let me get a bronzer, but I will say, be a little bit more critical. Why is your videos not working out? I mean, it could be, I mean, YouTube has had a lot of problems lately. It could be YouTube, but it's more likely that it's you. And I think that sometimes we need to be a little harsh and be like, I am rambly. This lighting sucks. Why, uh, why am I going on and on about my my every day when I have 200 subscribers. It's very unlikely that they care. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the one thing that I learned when I turned my channel around. Maybe I can make a video about that, like how I turned my channel around because my channel was stagnant and I was able to grow it to 100,000 and get more views. Uh, but that was one thing that I learned during that process. People don't care about you. Most people, they don't give a flying fluff about you. So don't make the videos too much about you unless that, that is what the video is about. If you title the video, this eyeshadow palette, make the video about the eyeshadow palette. That's what people clicked on. Clickbait is nice, but not when it turns into like a 30 minute get ready with me when you're calling it a review. Make sure that like you're being a little bit more critical. Okay, let me get a bronzer. Okay, so I'm gonna get the Juvia's Place bronzer. I think this is available at Ulta as well. And I'm gonna be using this one at top. That's more a yellow tone because that's what I like. And of course you can find these things at Juvia's Place as well. And Juvia's Place, you can get 10% off with the code Angelica, but I did buy these things at Ulta. It just depends, like, do you wanna get more than one thing? Maybe I would recommend you to go to Juvia's Place if you just wanna get the one thing and maybe something else from Ulta. Maybe Ulta is a better deal. It just depends on like, what you're looking for. And if you don't want to buy anything at all, that's perfectly fine too. Let's get into another question. This one was juicy. What do you like and dislike about your followers? I think that what I like the most is that my followers are, I know my demographics. We're adults here. Uh, we're adults here. I literally have zero point whatever people that are under the age of 18. Like I don't have teens. Um, I have some of course, and I will say the teens that are here are usually more on the mature side. We don't really have like rude or like, people don't really nab at each other in the comments unless I'm doing a topic where people can like disagree. I feel like my comment section is usually very educated and just positive and supportive and smart and just I like that a lot. And when I talk about like science-based stuff, I will say that for the most part, my, my viewers are very much into that. What I don't like about, and it's not necessarily you, because I will say, <laughs> nine times out of 10, when you get a really rude comment or someone is like leaving in questionable comment, it's usually not a subscriber. Like most of the time I can see that they're not a subscriber. Sometimes people online are extremely judgy and they will extrapolate to the wildest. And what I don't like about viewers is that sometimes they will tell me, no, this is who you really are. This is how you really look. Like I haven't known myself for the last 40 years or like I don't own a mirror at home where I can look at myself. And that's the part that I dislike when people get so confused with like, I'm an actual human being. This isn't a TV show with an actor where you can decide the character development. This isn't a show where you know as much about me as I do. I'm not an actor, this is me. I'm just choosing to show you a couple of minutes every day of my life to you. So it does make me frustrated and sometimes just giggle when people tell me, no, this is who you are this is how you think, this is your intention, this is your undertone. And it's like, you know nothing <laughs> about me except the things that I choose to show you. And I think that sometimes people lose sight of that online, that like, 
this isn't Big Brother. You're not following me around 24 seven. I'm gonna use a little bit of Colourpop. I think this is cool BFF. Yeah, I'm gonna use that as a liner before I go in with glosses. I got a question that's the most outrageous request you uh, receive from a brand. I will say there is a lot of brands that ask you to do unsponsored work. Basically like they wanna decide exactly what you post and what you do, but they don't wanna pay you. They're like, oh, but you're, you're getting free product. And it's like, I can just buy the product. <laughs> The product is worth less than my normal rates. So that is, that's still something that's happening. And I do hope that in the future we get to see less of that now that it's getting to be more public knowledge that this is not something that you should be accepting. Because trust me when I say that brands do have the budget. And if they don't have the budget, then they're going to have to just rely on PR and stop asking people to work for them for free. There is another question here that was like, yeah, any trips planned for 2023? Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you all about it. I'm going to be using this for the first time. This is the Juvia's Place Volume 6 blush. I think I'm just going to be mixing these a little bit. So I am going on a trip in, well, when I'm filming this, it's like two weeks. I am going to LA with Heather Austin and Samantha March, and we are actually taking a cruise. Something that we have, like I've been on a cruise once before, but neither Heather Austin or Samantha March have been on a cruise before. And Samantha is also bringing her friend, I forgot the name. She did a video with her where they were like using each other's makeup and they were going through like her makeup bag. I'm the worst with names. Listen, I don't know anyone's name. And she's also coming. So the four of us are just heading on a cruise together, just relaxing, having a little bit of fun. This is beautiful. I love an orange blush. I will say that this one is leaning a little bit more pinky peach than what I usually go for, but I did mix them. So that could be why. So we're doing that. It's just like a five, six day thing and then I'll be back again. But it's gonna be really nice to just hang out with them and just have a little fun and just relax, if we're gonna be honest. It's gonna be absolutely lovely. And then I'm going actually uh, with another group of girls. I'm going later on in May, we're going somewhere. And I am gonna be vlogging both of these trips. So I'll, I'll show you, I have a vlog channel. I know sometimes I feel like I talk about it all the time, but then I see comments that are like, why don't you vlog more? And it's I have a vlog channel. I haven't uploaded uh, on my vlog channel during, um, during January though, because I've been trying like to take it a little bit slow, but I will be updating once I go on this trip because I will be vlogging that. Besides that, I want to go somewhere with my husband. Like we have a, like he has a vacation from his job. So we want to go somewhere together. Um, and then I kind of want to go somewhere with like another like trip, maybe like a city trip or something with a friend. I don't know. I just, I want to do a couple of trips a year because I have the time and I have the means. That's where I'm at. I'm going to do a little highlighter before... I get into this. I will say I have the oh, the Colourpop Wings collection here. Oh my god, I'm all over the place. And the highlighters here look so similar to the highlighter because there was one here that was like, is it the Stormy one? I don't remember which one, but one of these it looked so similar to the ones from the Aurora Struck collection. So I was like, I'm just gonna save these and give them away because I think they look very similar. They're that colored highlighter and I did really like the highlighter stick actually when I used it with a brush from Colourpop. So I'm just gonna use one of those from Aurora Struck instead. I'll list it down below instead of like going into some that just look very similar. There's no need for me to be using all of the makeup. So let me go and grab that one. Someone was asking about my favorite fragrance at the moment. Love your YouTube channel, Angie. Thank you so much. I have a bunch of favorite fragrances at the moment. I actually, when I was at Neiman Marcus the last time, I got a sample um, at this, like a place and I'm wearing it today and it is so amazing. I think it's from Inethio. Inethio? Inethio. How do you say that? Depends on like where the brand is from, I guess. But Inicio, maybe let's say it like that. I, I'm probably mispronouncing that. And it's called Rehab. It is like... It's like if you mix Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford with bubblegum. Because it has some almost sweet, powdery bubblegum thing in there. 
Ooh, I think I went a little overboard and I absolutely love how it is on the skin. I've worn it now two days in a row from this sample and I think it's absolutely amazing and I 10 out of 10 recommend. It is like $250. Is it $350? It might be $350. So it is a very expensive fragrance, but I have been sniffing myself obsessively I wore it to bed last night and I woke up in the middle of the night wanting to go to the bathroom and I was like, oh, it's so lovely. So yeah, that is my, that is my current, like right, like current, current obsession. I did get the fragrance of my dreams from my husband uh, for Christmas, which is by Rito's Pulp. Uh, and that one is so wonderful. It's like a fresh red apples and red berries that has a spicy warm undertone and it really stays wonderful on the skin and yeah that one I have been loving for so long and I'm so excited to have a full-size bottle in my collection it is absolutely delightful I'm gonna put on some of these well some of these one of these glosses I want to do the one that's orange because Who's surprised? I'm not surprised. This one is, well, this is the Winx collection and this is the one in Stella. I did watch the Winx on Netflix, which is, it's like a guilty pleasure. I don't love the plot, but I kind of enjoy it. It's like a guilty pleasure, like Emily in Paris. Um, I think it's okay. I never watched the cartoon. I think I'm a little bit too old for the cartoon. Oh, Colourpop did, um, they had some problems with their codes. I know a bunch of you were asking my, me why my, my code didn't work. It's working again. They have fixed it. You can get some money off your order at Colourpop. Ooh. What is that? If you use the code Anjeshka. That is beautiful. Like a warm yellow leaning sparkly gloss. Oh, I'm loving that. There's also a green gloss here. I think the ones that I'm going to be saving, let me actually show you how that one looks. I think the one, don't mind that. I think the ones I'm going to be saving is the green and the orange. This is how that one looks. Super beautiful. I could have used this one today as well, but I didn't. Let's do a little eye primer before we go in with the Winx and Colourpop palette. I got a question that's, are you planning to visit Sweden during your time in the States? I mean, short answer, of course. <laughs> because like that, my, my family is there. I like, mean, my family, my mom and my stepdad was just here in the US. Like they were here in October, the end of October visiting me. So obviously like, I just like met them, but I have three brothers and lots of nieces and nephews and Ricardo has a mom and a dad and a sister and a nephew that actually we have never met. So of course we're going to Sweden to, to visit like all of those people. Um, we also want to go to Europe. I know that Ricardo has like some upcoming conferences and stuff. I'm not 100% sure even where they are. I'm very much a spontaneous person. I am a winged person. My life motto is how hard can it be? How hard can it be? So when things come up, I don't need a lot of planning times for stuff. I like doing stuff more spontaneously. So he will usually let me know a couple of months in advance about like conferences and thing. And I think we are planning to go to Europe this summer regardless. Maybe that will be our vacation actually this year. I actually wanted to mention, I have this powder foundation as well from Juvia's Place. Obviously I'm not using that one today. I hate this packaging. It's very clunky, heavy, chunky plastic i don't like it at all this is what it looks like and this is a powder foundation and as you can tell this isn't my shade so i might use this as something else because i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this one it is what it is i guess but let's dig into the eyeshadow palette i haven't done anything with this one it looks like this let me see there's plastic here I like the front. It's very cartoony and I like it for this collab. It is like a rainbow palette that leans a little darker. Some people were saying that this looks exactly like the pastel palette by Natasha Denona. I see where you're coming from, that it is more a lighter 
rainbow uh they're they're nothing alike like these shades are not the same formula here as they are in the Natasha Nona palette I also think this one goes darker than the Natasha Nona palette just based on what I see here and based on that I literally used that palette yesterday <laughs> actually but i'm thinking what we want to do there is no eye safety warning on any of these no i had to double check again so some of these seem a little like glittery like this this and this but it is those like glitter infused eyeshadows that colourpop has been doing lately that seem to be eye safe so i'll put up some swatches so you can see what that one looks like i think we are gonna do that dark teal it's called andros I think we'll do that one going to the green, going to the yellow maybe? Can that be cool? Because I'm having the yellow gloss. So I'm, I'm doing Solaria in the inner part and then going into this lime green that's Zenith and then just Andros in the outer corner and blending out with this one. That is what I'm doing. Those are the shades I'm going to use also under my eyes while I answer some more questions. I feel like I've answered this question, where would you ideally like to live a lot of times, but don't mind me going on and on about it again. And I would ideally like to live in the Mediterranean. This color is not as pigmented as I was hoping it would be. It's a little bit more hard pressed, but oh, I got through the upper layer and now it's picking up beautifully. Never mind me. It was just a little bit hard pressed and once I got through that upper layer, there was a lot of pigment underneath. So don't don't mind me. I love the Mediterranean. Mediterranean is my favorite place in the world. I have been I've been to so many countries around the Mediterranean and I always go back because I love the Mediterranean area. My dream would be to own, I don't think, like, do I want to live there full time? I don't know that. Maybe, to be honest, maybe. I want to retire in the Mediterranean. I want to buy an apartment with a balcony that oversees a, a port and I want to sit there in the sunset drinking sangria, watching the boats, watching the people. That's what I want to do. That is like my dream. <laughs> is it too much to ask? Probably. I don't even care if it's Italy, Greece, my mom loves Croatia, France. I don't know French like that much though because I know it's harder to get a, like along with just English. I think that so far the countries that I've been to, Greece is the country where it's easiest to get along with just English, but I also think that that's probably because Greek is not as common of a language as French, Spanish, and Italian is. So I think that they, because of tourists, have to be a little bit more open-minded towards English. And I'm not really good with languages, and you might think that I am because I'm fairly good with English, but honestly, I'm not that good with languages. This is, like, English is my only language. I've read, um, I've, I've read French and I'm not good at French at all. So, yeah, I, that is also something to take note of. I will say, uh, my husband does speak more languages than me. He's really good at languages. This one has some sparkle to it and he speaks... Italian and he's better at French than I am and he also speaks some German. He always says like, oh, I'm not that good at it, I've, I've forgotten all about it. But as soon as like anyone starts speaking French or German, like he understands them. And he is fairly fluent in Italian because he is half Italian, but it isn't. he isn't born in Italy. So he did learn Italian in his like teen years. I always try and listen as, as best as I can when I hear uh, like his dad talk Italian because his dad is born in Italy and also like his aunt because his aunt still lives in Rome and it's just, I try, but it's really hard. Should I try and blend this out now a little bit with that lighter turquoise? It's called Charmix. I'll try. I'd filled in a little bit around my eyes and just gave this yellow a little shot as well. Have I come across a lot of ageism in the beauty industry? Um, yes and no. I will say, I mean, the people that get popular, the people that get super rich, with some few exceptions, the people that rise to the top, they're usually very young. Like, they're usually like either late teens or early 20s like 
we have a, a tendency of really idolizing young driven people and making it think that like there's something about people are like oh look at this person they were so young when they were succeeding and we somehow make that an even better thing and I for me I'm super happy that I did not have a huge success when I was younger because I don't think I would have been able to handle that not that I'm having like a huge success now either but like I am at least online but sometimes you have to think and watch yourself what you're saying because things so easily get misconstrued so I I, I do think that like the people that get popular are usually younger people because we have a tendency of idolizing younger people having some kind of a drive and seeing that as something spectacular or like thinking sometimes that like younger people make better bosses when it's like obvious that like a little bit more experience will make you probably better as both a boss and an entrepreneur but that's not really how we want to talk about those things. It hasn't really been against me though. I think the people that have been the rudest about my age is probably viewers <laughs> and people on like online forums because sometimes you can get comments that like, why would you dress like that? Why would you look like that? Like dress your age. And it's like, I literally could not care less. Oh my God, the sparkle is everywhere. The sparkle is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> The sparkle is everywhere. Do I want to use a shimmer or am I like happy like this? I'm kind of happy like this. Am I allowed to be happy like this? Because I feel like I am. There are some like gemstones and stuff. And I'm not sure if I'm feeling that today. You know, I love an all matte look. There's also like a glitter. Is it even here? Did I even bring it out? I might not have brought it out. But I feel like I want to keep it like this. I Here's the thing. I'm sure that there are brands that look at me and they're like, no, she's too old. That's not our demographic. I am a million percent sure about that. But they won't tell me the way that viewers and people on forums will tell. Because people are sometimes pretty ruthless in what they tell people, which is like, you do you. I hope you're nicer to people in real life than you are to people online. And also sometimes like viewers will expect perfection, perfection uh, from people online in a way that nobody in their own life or even themselves can live up to. Um, but I also think that a lot of people take out their frustrations on like everyday life, on online creators and influencers. And I get it. I, I do get it. Life is frustrating. Life is hard. So I try to not take a lot of those comments to heart because it's like, it's not really about me usually, it's about them. Um, and they're not happy with where they are with their life. And sometimes people can just get very upset with seeing someone else being happy with where they are. And they just want to like, you know, take, take you down a couple notches. And listen, you do you. I don't care. And <laughs> I don't care if you think certain things about me, like I know me. I know me, I know what kind of person I am, and I'm a good person. I'm a nice person, I'm a kind person, I'm a giving person, I'm an educated person. So I don't really care about that. I think that this turned out pretty cool. Okay, let me finish this look up and I'll end with a last question. Let me see if I can find a juicy one. Okay, the makeup look is done. I'm feeling very fierce. I'm loving the makeup look. I thought I'd do a couple of like rapid fire questions because I had a couple of really easy ones. One was, do you have two different names, Angelica and Angelica? No, my real name is Angelica, Angelica, which is how you pronounce it in Swedish. And Jeska is just an old, old, old nickname. Like, I, I was given that by a friend when I was like 16, 17. It's, it's stuck in there for a while. So it's just, it's just a nickname. Next one is, what self-tanner do you use? It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. I do use the Bandai Sands One Hour Express. I will link it down below. I've been using that for years and years. It's beautiful and it's a one hour one. So it, 
you use it for one hour, it doesn't get on your sheets, it doesn't get on your clothes, because you have it for one hour, then you go in the shower and you have it like a nice light tan that looks believable and on me it stays on for about five, six days. So I would really recommend that one. I hate sleeping in self tanners. You get it on your clothes, you get it on your sheets, you get it on your partner, you get it on your dog, I hate it. So this one, highly recommended. So nice, you know, you put your self tanner on, you drink some coffee, you have a shower and that is that. Favorite class to play in World of Warcraft? Easy, mage. Cannot spell damage without mage. I only play mage. I don't play any other class. Love me my mage. I even have two mages. Well, one that I don't really play, but like my main is a mage. I don't, I don't do anything else. Do you have any practical tips for sticking to vegetarian vegan? Me and my husband are flexitarians. We try to eat as much vegetarian as possible or vegan if offered. I will say for us, Two things have really helped us. First, Google recipes. Don't think that you're gonna solve it on your own. Google recipes, people are really good at it. Also for us, HelloFresh has really helped. I know that I am working with HelloFresh. Of course, this video is not sponsored. We tried HelloFresh before I was working with them. And one of the things that they do really good is that they have a lot of vegetarian recipes and it can give you some inspiration. The second tip that I would do is to stop thinking about, and this might be a Swedish thing, but I do think that like, it's a little bit of an American thing too. Stop thinking of a meal in the way that it's sauce, potatoes, and meat. It doesn't have to be those three components. Ditch that whole idea because I feel like a lot of people are struggling with being vegetarian or being vegan because they are thinking, what can I substitute the meat with? Don't think like that. You, you, you Just free your mind think outside the box. And as soon as you stop thinking, what can I have instead of the meat? And just think freely what a meal can be for you. There are so many more options. Me and my husband, one of our favorite things is just putting a lot of veggies and yummy things on a, like a tray to put in the oven and then eat that with like a cold sauce with either creme fraiche or like sour cream with like some herbs and garlic. That's wonderful. That is totally underestimated. You don't need to substitute the meat for something. The whole thing about being vegetarian is that you feel like you don't need or want meat. So that will be the, the one thing. That was not rapid fire at all. Do you, your husband, speak English at home or Swedish? Swedish. I mean, we're Swedish. <laughs> Releases you're most looking for in 2023. Most looking for or most looking forward to? Either way, <laughs> it's secret. I have a lot of inside scoop of what brands are releasing. And let me tell you, 2023, it's gonna be fire. It's gonna be so much fun. How are your boobies doing and would you do it again? Uh, regarding my breast augmentation, it was two years ago that I did my breast augmentation and one year ago where I actually had to redo some of that. I do have videos about that on my channel. Uh, they're fine. The, I don't have any problems at all right now, except of course some scarring, but that's, that's normal, let's be honest. And... Last one is, are you still thinking about going back to school? MPH. What does that, I don't know what that really means. Oh, my battery is almost dying. Um, yes, I am, but not here in the US. Uh, I have thought about there are schools in the US where I could go uh, with Swedish like funding, like I wouldn't have to pay for it. I know, <laughs> unfair, but I don't think that I will be doing that right now, but I'm definitely open to the suggestion. Uh, I love geosciences. Um, that was what I was hoping to get my degree in in the in like the beginning. I do have my degree in environmental science, but at first my first love is geoscience. So I might go back to school and do like maybe a combo with that. Uh, not right now though, but it's definitely something that's always in the back of my mind. Something that I would actually kind of like to do, but not right now maybe when we're back in Europe again. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the look. You can find information about all the things that I'm wearing on my face right now in the description box in case you're interested. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for asking questions. Don't forget to follow me on my other social medias if you wanna be part of asking questions in the future. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you soon again in a new video. Bye.